I thank you for joining me. I'm going to be reading the Earth Class Notes, written by the Twelfth Apostle, entitled The Searching Soul. The best way to obey our Savior in the context of seek and ye shall find is to maintain a searching soul. And the time to do so is now. For we can bless all of heaven as they learn, while we do, like no other time before with blessed consequences, as long as we're here. And now consider, as we are everlasting spirit beings, having an extremely brief life here, we should rejoice in this kind of opportunity. The good news? When we adopt this attitude, any discomforts, any issues of this life that we experience suddenly are not such a big deal after all. Some interesting questions. Ever since the twelve tribes of Israel, Jacob's twelve sons, began to multiply, have they become progressively important? Yes, they are all under a special blessing of God made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Will they continue to be in the everlasting heaven? Uh, yes, but not to the extent they were here. At any time during this world age, has there been a legal requirement for there to be a certain number from each of these 12 tribes upon the earth? Yes, but just enough to continue the true heritage of Israel here. It is interesting to see how the easily understandable truth in these earth classes have brought great positive change produced by these truths being freely presented in the writings and ministry of the Twelfth Apostle. To the searching soul, seek and ye shall find. Until next time.